Hello, my name is Audrey and we're moving on with our Vetimo technical training experience. In the next few minutes, we'll be taking a look at the options the students are going to have in the Vetimo platform. We're going to find out how a student may log in and find their different type of sessions and courses, assignments and so on. Access materials attached to the courses as resources, how to view and solve quizzes and more. First, we need to log in. Again, the first thing which we see is going to be the dashboard calendar. The calendar has different views you may choose from – monthly, weekly and daily. Now let's see how a course assignment looks like. You can see the course that the assignment is part of, the period you have to submit it, and the teacher of the course. You may have virtual live sessions, as well as offline traditional meetings. You can also join any session via the Join Now button. The system will automatically send notification for the upcoming events. Next is the My Courses tab. This section shows the courses that you've been assigned to. You also have the option of accessing the resources that have been attached to the course. If you are unable to access the resources or the files to that course, our system will let you know when the files will become accessible. In the first lesson, you have an article available for reading. However, the quiz in the second lesson is yet unavailable. Video or audio files can be attached as well. Or you can simply follow an embedded link from YouTube. You can also check the quizzes that have been assigned to your profile. The quiz have a time limit for the student to take and different types of questions. Once you've answered all the questions of the quiz, you may go ahead and check how you did via the Quizzes tab and the Results sub-tab. This is where you may view whether or not your tutor has left you any comments on the quiz. Correct? Good job! You can do better next time. Using the Messages portion of the Vetimo LMS is how the student may contact the tutor and vice versa. Click on Compose to send the message. Now let's move on to the file library. The file library will let you take a look at any files you have uploaded into any of your virtual classroom sessions. Recordings from your virtual classroom sessions can be viewed via the virtual classroom portion of the LMS. This can be done by picking the session you would like to rewatch and then click on the info button. You should see the option to play the recording from that page. Next up is my group section. This section shows you which groups you have been enrolled in and who are the other fellow participants in it. If the tutor has chosen to attach some files as resources to the group, the corresponding student profile would be able to access them. Lastly, under the Account and Settings tab is where the users will have the option of editing basic information about their profile, add personal details, change their password, and again, view the results of any quizzes they have completed.